Hello everyone, this is Chrisom, and I'd like to invite you to another conversation about your Kundalini awakening process. Once again, I am outside of a, of a Irish Norman ruin, uh, begun in about the 7th century uh, by a group of, of religious believers, monks if you will, and then taken over by the Norman invasion of England in around the uh, 12th, 11th, 12th century. Um, if you look behind me, you see a once thriving uh, power of this region, a, not only a religious center, but also a military center as it was taken over by the Normans. Uh, and now you look at it and you see that it's just basically the foundations are here. This is what happens to the material world. The life of wealth, the life of material that you're building is as fragile as these buildings behind you. Yes, yes, they may last thousands of years, but eventually you may have tourists walking through the middle of it. Okay? I want you to understand this because I want you to realize that your kundalini is not like this. Your kundalini will outlast these walls. Your kundalini will outlast anything that is of a man-made quality, of a physical construct. Okay? Kundalini lasts forever and into the transformation that one goes through when we, when we pass from this plane into the spiritual plane. Nothing of a physical quality can do this. Some emotions and some emotional experiences will also pass with a person into the, the transition into death. Those, those can be had. Uh, karma will include some of these things as well. But from a purely Kundalini context, this doesn't exist. Okay? This is the skeletal remains of your physical achievements after you transition from this world. And yet Kundalini remains the, the ground that this rests upon. Kundalini is the divine firmament and allows you to build this so that you can learn from that building and realize that you don't need to attach to it. The monks don't pray here anymore. The Normans have all gone. Now we have the bells of a nearby church, an occasional tourist, and some kundalini guy coming in and filming things about a kundalini awakening process. Aside from that, it's still and at peace. Kundalini is still and at peace within you. Don't attach to the outside garment of your life. Attach to the inner tranquility that Kundalini brings. Thank you for watching.